for it's their uh, training room today. The guys are getting taped up, they're ready to go, we're ready for an action filled night. Giovanni, first of all, thank you so much for interviewing with us. We're really excited to see you out there in the ring. No, no problem at all, thank you. From San Diego, California, introducing the hard hitting Giovanni Gallagher Oro. about your family history? Uh, well, I was born here in San Diego, but my mom and dad are from Mexico. Uh, so I don't have too much family from my dad's side, but I do have family from my mom. Uh, her family's mostly in Tijuana. Yeah, so we go over there sometimes to visit them. That's great. Have they been able to see you fight as a boxer? Not really. Not my family from over there. They haven't even had a chance to see me. So hopefully soon. Hopefully I find San Diego and they're able to come over. A little bit about the trainer that you mentioned is one of your coaches who had a former boxing career. Oh, Danny Paris. Yes. He's a, since he's an ex-fighter, you know, he has a lot to offer for us. You know, he has a lot of experience. He knows what, what I go through in training. So that's, you know, he helps us a lot. And in terms of this competition, how hard is it for a prospect to really make it big? You just have to work hard, you know, it's a very difficult path. I mean, I'm still climbing, I have a while to go. Uh, you just have to keep your eye on your goal and just work hard. With your workout curriculum and your training style, walk us through a day-to-day process for yourself. Yeah, so I've had this question a lot, but uh, I guess it depends, you know, we switch it up every day. It depends also on where we're at in training. Mm -hmm. But I guess, uh, you know, we run every morning. Every morning we have to get our run, you know, that's a daily thing almost. Uh, you do have some day offs from running. And then after that, you know, we'll have our training and uh, some days we'll train twice a day. So it just depends, you know. Yeah. So it depends, some days I'll run five miles, six, uh, sometimes ten miles, you know, I'll do that a couple days straight sometimes. So. It makes it up. Nice. And you talked about clean eating, but what are some clean eating foods that you do like and some that you don't necessarily? Don't necessarily. Clean eating. Uh, so I'm not that picky, but I guess uh, when I'm not getting ready for a fight, I don't really eat vegetables, stuff like that. Uh, I like to, you know, eat. I love to eat, but. Uh, yeah, so when we're eating clean, I'll eat everything. You know, I guess to the point where, you know, I have to eat everything they give me. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And I hear that you mentioned that your dad's one of your trainers. Tell me a little bit about having your dad as a trainer. Uh, I don't think there's anything better than that. You know, he's with me. I actually call him coach 24-7. <laughs> he's with me. You know, he's uh, my coach at the gym, at home. So I love it, you know. It's really good. And does he have a background in boxing as well? No, we've learned together, you know. Okay. Uh, he started off. I used to have other trainers, you know, that helped me along as an amateur, um, but then he picked up my training after a while. What is one of the titles that you are most proud of so far? Uh, well, right now I only have the NABF, the junior NABF title, so I'm very proud of that. Especially okay. since I won in my hometown, San Diego. And going into, tonight, to, into tonight's fight, did you have any rituals? Did you listen to a certain song that really gets you pumped up? Uh, not really. You know, I, uh, I see some people, you know, that like to listen to music and all that before. I usually just, you know, just have my thoughts, you know, thinking positive and uh, the whole day just resting. What makes a good fighter and what sets you apart from the rest? A good fighter, just, uh, you know, you have to be smart in there. You know, you can't just go in there and brawl. You know, you have to want to give a good show, of course. You know, you have to be a smart fighter. You have to work hard, confidence, uh, everything.
from rounds of boxing to the judges' scorecards we go. Fernando Villarreal has it 59-55. Well, Jonathan Davis and Marty taking both seats about 58-56, declaring your winner by unanimous decision from Modesto, California, Gilberto Mendoza. My name is Giovanni Santillan. I have the junior NABF title. So that's a wrap. Great fight by Gio. Of course, he went in with a bang, went out with a knockout, just like he told us. He really did. He had it done in less than three minutes, just over two. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Please be sure to check out our action shots, our interview with Gio from earlier tonight, and everything on Project 13 magazine. And stay tuned for photos as well. Be sure to also check out Thompson Boxing for promotion.